One thing I keep wondering is, how come investors keep buying SLV? I can understand it in the short term. I can understand AGQ in the short term. But, I mean, don't they realize what's going on with this fund? Uh, this is another story that broke. You know, it's commodity online. Over 20 million ounces of silver does not exist in the SLV vaults. Trader reveals manipulation tactics. Now, I, you know, I hear these stories all the time, and I have a critical eye about different things, but just looking at some of those facts from uh, the Silver Institute about what was left over by the net um, implied investment from uh, the excess of su supply over demand, it was an impossibility that the ETFs could have been uh, accumulating that much silver. And it's a fact, but you don't know exactly what's in SLV. You really don't know. But my instinct is they're full of it. They're totally full of it. And I'm not basing this behind it just it just that's that's my smell you know and it's not just the fact that you know bankers are evil or things like that and wall street's evil i'm not saying that it's just my smell that they're full of it which makes me wonder is why the hell is big money investing in sov why aren't they taking physical delivery are they stupid or what are they stupid i keep asking myself this question are they really that stupid to do this because anybody's in SLV, they're going to get screwed. Because I think this fund is not going to be able to track the price of silver. That's what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to, it's going to go down. It's going to go down because it's, I don't think the silver's there. But uh, and we know there's a premium on the PSLV, the Sprott fund. But what kind of premium is on SLV? Eight hundred percent. I mean, I'm just taking a guess. It's probably in hundreds of percent. So this could be one key factor because I just can't believe so many smart people are so stupid to be holding this fund. In the short term, but you know, if you're in the short term, if you know which movements you're going to do, you're going to be buying options, you're going to be buying AGQ or whatever. But I think this stuff is going to go the way it's just going to go out completely and I keep thinking about the price of silver as it gets above 50 it's probably going to take off like a rocket maybe come crashing down again but I, I'm beginning to wonder about these funds this, these people start jumping out of these funds like SLV and buying the actual real stuff or even buying PSLV with a premium on it it's going to push that price of silver that much higher. Uh, this was another one of these rumors out there. and You keep hearing this stuff all the time. Uh, silver is the most manipulated commodity in the world. Is an argument few precious metals traders could honestly contradict. And SLV, the iShares Silver Trust ETF, is in deep trouble for not backing up its shares with physical silver, one trader reveals. Now, just the fact that there's all these rumors out there all the people that buying SLV, are they that stupid? I mean, even if you just thought it may be true and you weren't sure, why would you put your money in that? That's one thing I don't get. I don't get this at all. And um, King World News interviewer on a London trader revealed the most SLV shareholders are just holding paper silver. There is no silver. There is enough silver for investors to buy in large amounts. So they've been using SOV v as a flywheel, basically to take up the excess demand. So you give them people paper. That's the accusation. But I keep wondering, why do people buy SOV? Even if there's a doubt in their mind, they're not sure. Why would they buy it? Why would they buy it? Doesn't make any sense. And. I think once people start getting out of this, that's when you're going to really see the physical start taking off. Mistrust of uh, DTFs. And actually, there's been 
a lot of talk, I mean, not just SOV, but a lot of ETFs. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. You really don't know what can happen. You really don't know how they're managed. I mean, um, I heard different things about they're being investigated, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know how many stupid things are rumors and everything, but I think this is going to be another major factor that's going to push silver up like really astronomical prices. And um, once it takes off, it gets a life of its own. That's when it goes into bubble mode. And that's when you need to be selling, of course, you know, at that time. But speaking of rumors, um, I remember the rumor Max Kaiser put out there about J.P. Morgan's common stock. And this goes back to January 2011. And, you know, we look at J.P. Morgan's common stock. It's up to uh, 37 around there today, 37.66. So what does that mean? The price of silver should be close to 37 now? I mean, I don't know what this guy's talking about. That's what I don't like about a lot of things because you hear rumors from the silver community about different things and hear rumors from the major media conspiracy side, whatever you want to call it. You know, they say different things. And they're both BS. That's what I look at it. They're both BS. But I think it is a pretty solid argument about this SLV that... Just the fact that people have been pointing out and there's a suspicion that they don't hold all the silver they say they're holding. Why do investors, you know, put their money in this? It's because they can click a button and get the cash anytime. They got that much faith in the system. Well, you know what? That's what happened in the 30s, too. People had faith because that's how they get screwed, right? People are going to start waking up about this and... Um, that's what's going to really start driving up the price of silver. And it could be this year. That could be another factor on top of the uh, quantitative easing. The oil price is going up. And um, the debt crisis, the downgrading of debt also probably in the United States. I think all those factors. But uh, there could be a mass exodus out of SOV to also to add on to that. So who knows where the price can go. Because once they lose control... You know, you say they're short the price of silver, um, you know, the raising margin requirements. Well, maybe just people are going to get the hell out of electronic markets altogether. I plan to this year. I plan to. I'm going to take cash and I'm going to take metals. That's it. I'm not going to mess with any. After I get the gains, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I'm just taking cash. And most of that's going to be paper cash. And um, I'm hoping I'm getting out before everybody has a mass exodus out of here. Because I think uh, once this starts going out, when people start getting out of the uh, paper markets, maybe there's some truth to what Lindsey Williams says. Another MF Global. And what's going to happen to the uh, brokerage, brokerage houses? People are going to be running out of them. And, you know, you look at... A lot of the double leverage funds, they're not backed by anything, period, nothing. Your ass is on a line all the way for that stuff. Dangerous funds. So um, there could be a lot of problems. And like once one thing starts, another thing goes. And considering how they handle the MF Global, they got zero trust in this stuff all the way. But I don't know, maybe I'm thinking ahead of the people that aren't thinking. I don't know. I don't think, I just can't believe people are that smart, are just playing like nothing's wrong, collecting their interest checks, you know, everything's safe, everything's fine. I guess people on the top are that stupid, you know, and I guess I've I found this out before. A lot of times they can't see what's going on because they just go by their own experience, how, how things have been for so many years. But I think there's going to be some major changes. And um, I do believe in physical silver. So when I'm talking like I might sell 60 ounces or 100 ounces or some crap when it hits a high this year, physical, that's like nothing. It's a very small portion. It's, you know, it's way under 5%. It's nothing. Okay? So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not actually selling a recommended people to go sell um, 
physical silver when it hits a high this year but you want to take a tiny percentage of it I mean an infinitesimal small percentage of it and take secure gain just to test the system you know the procedure that wouldn't be a bad thing to do and that's about all I plan to do I plan to sell off the PSLV because I think it'll have a pretty high premium on it so it's probably going to accelerate more than the uh, silver prices and I'm going to try to pick the top on that but I think the top might be quite a bit more than 60. Silver can have an astronomical year this year. And I know a lot of people want to hear that garbage. And they don't want to wait for it to happen. They want it to happen tomorrow. But um, there's a lot of factors coming up. And I think people in the um, financial community that are bigger investors... I don't know what the hell they're thinking because they got to be some kind of morons to be putting their money in the SLV. That's all I got to say. I don't know what the hell is the matter with them. I wouldn't use SLV for nothing. If you're going to want a quick paper gain on silver and you want to guess when the bottom is or if you want to try to get, you should use AGQ and get the hell out when you get your gains. That's what you should be doing. Or you should be doing an option. As far as uh, on the SOV, but as far as buying SOV and holding it, I think that's nuts. So I don't know what the hell they're doing. So I, you know, I would think this, I don't know how stupid, I don't know, it just boggles my mind. Why the hell there's big money in SOV, you know, and GLD? And maybe these people will wake up this year and uh, get the hell out of it. So, uh, we might have a very, very uh, interesting unraveling that's going to be going on. But uh, I do think paper cash is still going to be something good to hold. And, um, you know, it's not going to lose all its value. They're not, we're not going to go down to Zimbabwe currency. That's not going to happen. And um, that rumor, you know, the story about silver going up to these astronomical prices without inflation that's not going to be true at all because um, there's going to be plenty of inflation but silver is going to outpace the inflation so it's, it is a good strategy it's going to outpace the inflation so you be in the right spot but when this thing takes off it's going to take off like crazy and um, I think when this SOV is going to bust or something's going to happen with it this year I don't know, I, these guys, I can't believe, I just, you know, I'm going to repeat myself, I just can't believe why well, somebody would take a quarter million dollars or something like that and throw it in SOV. I mean, they've got to be dumber than dirt. You know, I would never do that in a million years. But, you know, there's people around that are doing that.